Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl. And it's dark in here, but that is because I was inspired by none other than Nikki Nasty, aka Nicole Raffi. She sometimes does these videos where she's like in a very like dimly lit room, but today we're doing something very exciting and very revealing and vulnerable on the channel. I thought it'd be fun if I reacted to some old Halloween costumes from my youth and even from like last year. Oh, and actually before we get started, I am wearing my little black cat earrings and my shirt, Full Moon Magic. So, you know, I'm trying here. I'm trying guys. I'm putting in the effort. I'm putting in the hours. I got grease on my elbows. Wait, now you can see. Guys, we're learning as we go, okay? That is the mark of a true YouTuber, okay? That's fun. That's fun. I'm looking at the photos on my computer, but I will put a picture here or here somewhere so you can react along with me. Okay, so this first picture is me. It's my first Halloween. This is 2000, my first Halloween ever. I was born in, wait. I was born in July. This would be from 1999. Why 2000? So I was only a few months old in this picture. So I'm a little red m and I'm wearing a little red onesie with a um, homemade M cut out. Thanks, mom. And the face is just so, why do I look so angry? <laughs> I don't know, I look really angry in this. And then my mom, she sent me <laughs> this other picture where I look even more angry. It's just, uh, it's so funny. So that was my first Halloween. I was a little Eminem girl. And the red Eminem is my favorite Eminem, even though I think he's kind of an asshole, but he's always been my favorite. We, oh my God, we used to have, um, before we had Mario Kart, we had Eminem go-kart racing. Only real ones know about Eminem go-kart racing. In 2000, we have me as this tiny little teddy bear. <laughs> So cute, it's my mom. I'm sitting on her layup. I just sounded like I was from Wisconsin. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> cheese. So yeah, so pretty simple, little teddy bear. Again, like I, the face is serving, but kind of in like a very roundabout way. It's like, I'm giving so much of nothing that it ends up coming all the way around to giving everything. You know what I mean? So pretty iconic. In 2002 and 2003, I wore the same outfit, but the photo I'm gonna put up on the screen is from 2003. I was Cinderella. It looks like Gabby was Cesario. But I love this photo because she looks so indifferent to the fact that she's literally choking me out. Big sister vibes. Gotta love it. It looks like in 2003 I was... Oh, I'll see. I'm getting all confused. So I was Cinderella in 2001 and 2002. Then in 2003... I was Sleeping Beauty. Once again, I'm posing here with Gabby. She looks great. This little cat costume, she looks amazing. I love it. Like, I don't know if this is from something or just like, she's a hip cat girl, but I love it. She looks great. And I also have cat whiskers for some reason, probably because I didn't want to be left out, I'm assuming. I think I'm Sleeping Beauty. Um, Again, iconic. Y'all are not ready for what I'm about to show you. This is probably the most iconic photo from my childhood, from my youth. I am like, I'm given everything. The shoes, the socks, the braids, and then the face. She is serving. I am, she ate. <laughs> I look literally 
when my mom first sent this to me, I was like, holy shit, why do I literally look like a young Judy Garland? Like, the similarity is a little uncanny. Oh my god, I loved this costume. It was my favorite. I was so happy. Like, I remember being... It's so weird that we can access... Like, okay, this is like, people are gonna be like, are you stupid? When you really think about it, it's crazy. I'm 23 now. I was five when this was taken. It's crazy that I can access a memory from that long ago. Like, that just... The human mind. She's really doing something else. So those were my early days, elementary school years. We are skipping middle school. Sorry, not really. Now we're in high school. Junior year, me and my friends all dressed up as Hogwarts students. I really like that my high school, like people dressed up. I feel like it was... It was always fun, you know? So yeah, pretty pretty basic, but there I am wearing my dad's shirt and tie and some socks that were way too tight. And then that night, then I was Janet Snakehole from Parks and Rec. My friend Stephanie was um, Burt Macklin, FBI. And we were pretty iconic. That was honestly a really good look. So yeah, I had a day look and a night look. I'm that bitch. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Senior year, during the day, because again, an, a day look and a night look, all of the senior girls every year at my high school, we do the same costume and holy shit. It was so painful trying to come up with a costume for no good reason. Someone suggested that we go as prisoners Hey, it's editing Catherine. I wanted to like look through the old Facebook group to see what the other options were because I couldn't remember. When I said that the drama was unmatched, the girls were fighting. Another popular choice was we could be lax bros or referees. Absolutely hated that idea. But I think my favorite is I guess the prisoners look had a little bit more traction than I thought. There was this one girl in particular who was really pushing it. And at one point she was like, if you don't want to be a prisoner, be a cop. But then I, um, <laughs> someone else made a separate post. Orange is an ugly color and nobody looks good in it. It's so weird to have a window into 17 year old me. Like this is such a little time capsule. Okay, back to the video. We ended up doing like 90s grunge. You can't really see in any of the pictures, but basically I had the shirt. We wanted to do the like Nirvana smiley face, but when the girl who like organized the shirts, when she tried to get it printed, I think at like a, a cafe press, if you will, they were like, we cannot print this due to copyright reason. It just said like seniors class of 2017 and it had like, this like weird smiley face. They were like, a, it was like a cropped black shirt. So everyone was just very grunge. I had this leather jacket from Costco. Me and Helen look really cute in this picture. So the night look was, I was Buzz and she was Woody. Toy Story has always been my favorite Pixar movie. And I had a crush on Buzz when I was a kid, but we look really good. And you can kind of see in the picture, if you like zoom in, we wrote Andy on our hands. Now we're moving into the college years, which is extra spooky because this is when I became depressed. Anyway, freshman year, this is probably the dumbest thing I've ever done for Halloween. Yeah, it was just very stupid. I was a Coachella girl because I thought that would be like fun and easy. And I mean, it was. I remember the flower crown was covering a huge pimple, like gigantic monster sized pimple on my forehead which was convenient because I was like, great, now no one can see my f gigantic fucking pimple. But the downside to that was it irritated the pimple even more. So it just got worse. Now we're going into sophomore year. Sophomore year, I had two looks. One of them was once again, very, very lame, very boring. But the second one, I dare say, iconic. Um, this is my friend Madison. She went as Amelia Fart. <laughs> I don't know if Amelia Fart still makes videos. 
But Amelia Fart is a YouTuber. She has some really fun content. <laughs> I haven't watched her in a minute though, honestly. She used to film a lot in like her bathtub and I like, she's just very, very cool, very iconic. And I think, I'm pretty sure Madison tweeted about this look and Amelia Fart was like, oh my God, I love it. But yeah, I went as like an 80s biker chick. You know, I had the little uh, the ascot and the leather jacket from Costco. Again, I had a scrunchie. I don't know what I had. Like I, I stuck some like glitter, like gemstone things on my eyes. And like, that was it. I don't know, all, all, all in all, I just stuttered so much. <laughs> as far as costumes go, this was pretty weak, I would say. The next night, me and my friend Emily <laughs> went as Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. This is us in the, what do they call it? The Invisimobile. As you can see, I have face paint on that Madison did. She did an amazing job. This look was really like thrown together. <laughs> I loved this look. It was so fun. This is a, and I'm wearing slippers. Yeah, I like, I don't remember where I got the shirt, but I remember the like bra that I'm wearing. Back in the day, I had big old yitties and now I don't. And when I look at back at old photos of me with my old boobs, I'm like, I get this like, it's like cognitive dissonance because I see something that is on my body that is no longer I don't feel that on my body so it's it's very weird moving on to junior year the most iconic year for Halloween for me first night my whole friend group went as the Scooby-Doo gang there were too many of us so I volunteered the mystery van <laughs> um but I slayed Honestly, like the, <laughs> I think the photos are so good. But again, my, my freaking yabos, as they call them in Hocus Pocus. <laughs> again, Madison did the, the artwork on my face to bring to life the vibe. A group pick. <laughs> Madison as Fred is probably like my favorite look of the evening. The second night is probably my favorite Halloween look that I've done ever. It, it was just like a really fun look to put together. It was pretty simple, but I just felt really good in it. And like, yeah, that's, I mean, I guess that's really it. I got the crown from the dress, I think it was from Target or Kohl's or something. And then I also got the fake blood from Spirit Halloween. The thing with the blood, it did that thing that normal blood does where like once it dried, it got like crusty and brown. So I had to keep like reapplying it throughout the night to like make it look like fresh. <laughs> Everyone was like, oh my God, are you carry? Which like, I, I get, I get where they're coming from with that. But I'm not wearing a white dress is the thing. Like then of course I would obviously be carry. But this was like an original character that I came up with. I was like, I wanna be a final girl. So I created this whole narrative of like, she is like homecoming queen and she's the final girl and she gets all bloodied up because in like the end scene, she like defeats the villain. So like the blood is all from like the bad guy, but she's wearing the crown in the end. So who's the real winner, baby? I just like loved this look. It was so fun. I felt really pretty <laughs> too, even though I was covered in blood. And bonus, the blood washed out of the dress. So I was able to keep it. The last night of Halloween, I was, we did the Wizard of Oz, another group costume. I was the Wicked Witch of the West. I was wearing a choker. I got this lame hat from, <laughs> I think also Spirit Halloween. I was wearing my crystal necklace. I borrowed the cape from my friend Luis. I just remember being in a horrible mood that night. And I can't for the life of me remember why. And then again, I'll just show quickly. This was the full group look. I think Emily is, is my favorite as the lion. She looks so good. When Halloween, Halloween, 
When Halloween came around my senior year, I was like, that was pretty much the last thing I was thinking about. We had this thing called Augie's and you know, with COVID it was still like social distance. And it was kind of like being in a restaurant during COVID, you know, they would try and have everyone kind of like spread out only so many people at a table but it was a way to like still go out with your friends to a bar but it was really just the dining hall turned into a bar the drinks were always really overboard <laughs> they were very strong if you ordered i would get like a vodka cranberry and the whole it was like they'd come and bring it to the table and it would just be like a tiny little tint of pink because it was just like the whole thing was vodka which like you're probably sitting there like Catherine isn't that what you want which like yeah but also it's kind of hard to to drink something that doesn't taste good anyway this was probably one of the most laziest boring costumes I've ever done. Yeah, I was just wearing like a glittery top, some highlight. I did space buns, get it? <laughs> Do you get it? And then I wore this headband and I was an alien. I had a ton of fun that night and I got absolutely sloshed. You win some, you lose some. Ah. These are the last few photos I'm gonna be showing you today. So the first night of Halloween, I was again, kind of lazy. It was the only thing in Party City that they had in my size. And I was like, well, I guess I'm going as a, as a bar wench for Halloween. But then I was like, hold up. I'm gonna make it a little zesty. So I also bought this sword to give her backstory. I don't know, dude. I w I don't know. And then the next night, me and Helen went as Kim and Shigo. But yeah, this was like a really, a really easy, fun look. And then last but not least, the last night of Halloween, Halloween weekend, I was a 90s witch. <laughs> yeah, so I just kind of like put on this long flowery skirt and put my hair up in space buns or choker and I called it a day. <laughs> this year I'm going as Casey Becker and Ghostface. I'm doing a two in one. So those are all of the photos for uh, this, this fashion photo <laughs> review. A lot of these looks in retrospect were not as creative as I thought they were. But some of them were honestly like very iconic. I think the final girl look, the mermaid man look, oh, and Dorothy, of course, very iconic, very chic. That is all. I'm very hungry. I'm gonna go order Panera bread. Happy Halloween. <laughs> okay, bye.